Welcome to Biz Roanoke, and today we are with Mayor Sherman Lee, and we're talking about the first ever Mayor Summit on how to start a business in the city of Roanoke. Hi, Mayor. How you doing, Lisa? Fine, thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Um, tell us a little bit about the Mayor Summit, how to start a business in the city of Roanoke that is designed for new and prospective business owners in Roanoke. Well, I've had a number of citizens that would come up and say, listen, I want to start a business, but how do I do a business plan? Uh, how do I get financing? I heard that there's grant money out there. All those kinds of questions that have came to me, and I decided, let's put a summit together so I want to educate our citizens, because it's important that all of our citizens, especially those that want to be entrepreneurs, know where the resources are and who they are. And so this summit uh, has served a tremendous purpose in doing just that. So we held the summit on May the 24th at the Goodwill Industries um, Training Center, and um, we had a nice showing of individuals. Were you pleased with the results of the summit? Well, first of all, I was pleased with the attendance. We had standing room only. I think that's great. That says a, that says a lot for our city, and I was very well pleased. We had some outstanding facilitators, and uh, information was covered, and people were asking questions. So I was very well pleased with what went on, and uh, I think it was a great day, a great day for our city. And I'm so pleased with the fact that a number of people came out. Very good. Um, what do you think small business brings to our community? Well, jobs, first and foremost jobs. Mm -hmm. I think there's a there's an air of, of connectivity, there's support, support in the city. And I think it's important when we realize that the majority of the businesses in our city are small businesses, and so I think that's important. And I think people are inspired and entrepreneurs, and so uh, it's so important. And when you look at the data, most people, most statistics tell you that it's important that you develop small businesses in your city. And so uh, we think it's a it's a win-win for the city, and it does a great deal lot for employ uh, citizens who want to start businesses. So I think it does so much for us, especially with jobs and employment. Are there plans to do another one of these summits or a follow-up event to your first um, summit? Well, as mayor, I'm going to always keep that door open because I, I listen to the needs of the citizens, and so very well could be. It could be uh, we may try to find some young younger entrepreneurs who are just starting up. So there's a lot of territory to be covered, but business is the lifeblood of our city, and I'll always keep that door open and listen to the citizens, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to, if it needed that, we'll be able to do it again. Well, that's uh, much appreciated, I know. Um, for more information about how to start a business in the city of Roanoke, where would you like to direct our viewers? Well, you can start by contacting the Office of Economic Development in our city, right. and uh, that is a number that you can call. And then there's the Roanoke Regional Small Business Development Center. Uh, that you can call and talk with people there. Now, we want to help our citizens to to develop and, and know how to start a business in this city, and this is it. So we're open, and I hope they will call, and I'm just excited and delighted and pleased with where we're headed in terms of uh, small businesses in our city. Mayor, thank you very much for the good work you did on the summit, and um, we'll look forward to hearing more. It's my pleasure. And we'll be right back. Hi, welcome to Biz Roanoke, and today we're talking about how to open a business in the city of Roanoke. And we have with us Bart Smith. Bart is the director of the Roanoke Regional Small Business Development Center. Hi, Bart. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. So we're going to talk about how to open a business in mm -hmm. the city of Roanoke. Mm -hmm. What are some pointers you can give to individuals who are interested in opening a business? One of the main things is whatever you're trying to do, you need to be passionate about it. Mm -hmm. um, that passion is going to carry you through the really hard times that I guarantee you're going to experience. Right. Um, there are going to be a lot of walls you have to crash through, a lot of hurdles you have to jump over. So passion is definitely one of them. Uh, uh, but you, you need to have a market. You need to have people out there that want the solution that you're providing to their problem. And that's really what business is, uh, solutions to a problem. Um, so you provide a solution to their problem that they're going to pay you for. 
So uh, making sure you have a large enough market of people to where um, that are willing to buy your solution, mm -hmm. that's extremely important. Um, if an individual is coming to see you, your client is coming to see you to talk about opening a new business, what type of documentation should they plan to bring with them to make that happen? You know, if, if, if they're in the idea phase, really nothing. Okay. Um, they don't have to bring anything with them. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work with them on, on, on the idea and mm -hmm. determine first and foremost if we believe you know, together there is a market for it, right. will help them in developing their business plan. And the business yeah. plan is not just for financing. The business plan literally is a, a it's an opportunity for you to research the idea mm -hmm. and, and determine that there is a market for this and this is a feasible idea, uh, but it's also a roadmap. Um, and it should be a living, breathing document that you continue to use even after you open up. Okay. So, the, you know, and we'll help them put into place all the things they need to put into place, but really they can show up with a notepad to take notes and a pen. Okay. All right. And this roadmap, they will use that continuously throughout the business. They should. They okay. should. Not Good. everyone does. Okay. <laughs> um, as far as training, do you all offer training classes to individuals who are interested in, who have recently opened a business or are interested in starting a business? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we see 300 clients on average a year. Great. 65% of those are existing businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, and so when it comes to classes, we offer classes for those existing businesses on how to scale their business, how to handle HR issues, how to handle tax issues, uh, I mean, you name it. But we also have a lot of classes uh, for the startup. Uh, our Business Basics is one of the more popular ones, and that's a three-hour class taught by Tom Tanner here in the office mm -hmm. that goes over the, uh, all the important parts of, of uh, starting a business and, right. and really it's it we almost insist that if it's a startup they take the class before we sit down one-on-one -on -one. Uh, it really answers a lot of their questions um, and the classes take place here in the chamber building is that right they do they take place here in the chamber building okay. sometimes we'll have classes uh, down at CoLab over in Grandin right okay. um, we'll have classes at the South Library over in Roanoke County so much, a lot of different places. And I believe you offer those monthly. We do. We do. We offer um, everything from marketing classes to business basics to um, technical classes using some of our great sponsors, so like the law firms and the banks that sponsor us. Okay. And how about if someone's opening a business? What is the, the time to actually, from the thoughts of opening a business until when you actually open a business, how long can that take? You know, in the time we've been talking, we could have opened the business. Oh, great! Okay. Yeah, that, that fast. fast. Don't, wow. rec don't recommend it. But truly, I mean, you can you can hang out your shingle in a day. Um, now that's unusual, and depends on the size of the business. But right. um, you know, it's not a matter of how long it takes to actually start the business. It's it's being patient through the process because it is a process, and it should be. There's a lot of information you need to gather to determine: Is this something I really want to do? Is there a market for this? And so, on average, it may take six months. I've worked with people for two years. Right. Okay. Uh, it just depends on the type of business. Okay. If our viewers would like to learn more about the Roanoke Regional Small Business Development Center, how may they do so? Well, you can go to our website, which mm -hmm. is roanokesmallbusiness.org. Okay. And it's an outstanding website with tons of information and resources. Um, you can also reach out to the Roanoke Regional Chamber. That's where our offices are, and they'll be happy to put you in touch with us. Okay, and we're right downtown on Jefferson Right Street. downtown on Jefferson right. and near the corner of Campbell. Okay, great. Bart, thank you so much for being thank with you, us Lisa. today, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. We are with Diane Speaks. Diane is the owner and founder of She's International, which is located on the downtown city market. Hi, Diane. Hello, Miss Lisa. Thank you so much for being with us today. You're welcome. Um, you relocated your business to downtown Roanoke a little over a year ago. And talk to us a little bit about um, some advice you can give individuals who are looking to open a small business in Roanoke. Well, it's been a good move. Mm -hmm. um, I was in Salem for 10 years, but right. I really have enjoyed my new location. Mm -hmm. And um, advice, just uh, don't get discouraged. Sometimes things can get a little slow right. during the January, February months, mm -hmm. but 
It's been great being down here. We have a lot of tourists in downtown Roanoke, right. so our location is excellent. So mm -hmm. I, I just feel like um, it was a good move. Well, good. So you mentioned one challenge being the time of the year often. Mm -hmm. um, talk to us about some of the other challenges with opening a small business. Um, I would say that is the biggest one, mm -hmm. you know, and realizing if you figure out that your business could be seasonal just right. because of tourists, putting that in the, <laughs> the numbers, you right, know, when you're right. figuring out how to pay all your bills, just making sure that you understand that, you know, it's almost like maybe an ice cream business, that things are going to be slow. Mm -hmm. I think hairstylists have told me certain months are slow with them, maybe right. in August. So just kind of figuring all that out and being prepared. So, and that is a good piece to put into your business plan. Oh, yeah. And that's great advice. It really is. <laughs> so what are some of the rewards of opening your own business? Well, I think um, using your creative brain, right. um, you know, finding all these beautiful things to bring to our little city as mm -hmm. far as some of our luxuries that we have. Right. I like meeting people. I like making connections. While I love the business, I like connecting people to help maybe um, help them find a job or tell them about our beautiful city or you know, if they are um, recently met some contractors and mm -hmm. getting them some work here. So um, I like, I guess the connections is what I like the most. Right. And of course I like the store. And you're very, you're fantastic at connecting people. Yeah. So thank you for doing that. <laughs> no problem. Um, talk to us a little bit about um, the success of your business. Really, what do you contribute to the success of your business? Well, I think, um, and I mention this all the time, Ed Hall from yes. Hall & Associates. Right. He just told me tenacity, ever-changing, and grow small. And mm -hmm. those three work, three things I've held on to. And so um, I think sometimes you can get discouraged because sometimes things aren't good. And then, mm -hmm. you know, we just recently had a Harry Potter festival down here yeah. right in the heart. And believe it or not, that was probably one of the best events we had because it was right in front of our store. We have a lot of events in downtown Roanoke and exactly. Elmwood, and they're mm -hmm. all great, but being right here and seeing Harry and all his friends great. in costume, uh -huh. it was kind of fun. Well, good, good. Yeah. That's wonderful. It was. Um, so if viewers wish to learn a little more about Cheese International, um, how may they do so? They can come visit us okay. on the corner of Salem and Market. We're located at 108 Market, right. across from Fork in the Market, Billy's mm -hmm. and the Taubman Museum of Art. And we're here Monday through Saturday, 11 to 7, and Sunday, 11 to 5. Diane, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for what you're doing in downtown Roanoke. And we will look forward to catching up with you in the near future. Okay, I'll be here. Thank you, and we'll be right back. Thank you for joining us today. If you have more questions about how to open a business in the city of Roanoke, please give me a call. My name is Lisa Soltis. You can reach me at 540-853-1694 or by email at lisa.soltis at roanokeva.gov. Thank you.